Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Black Sea Odyssey. It just released on March 2nd into Steam Early Access, and we're going to play around with it for about, I don't know, about 20-25 minutes, assuming I survive long enough to actually play that long. We'll see. Anyway, I've had, um, I've had fun playing the game, though I've had mixed results. I've, I think I've successfully defeated one monster or one boss or what have you twice? And then I got killed like four times other than that. So we will hop in, we'll get started, and we'll try our very best to not be terrible at it. But again, only time will tell if that's true or not. But before we do that, let's watch the opening sequence, shall we? A vast chasm exists between space and time. Here, the greatest huntsman in the universe is decided. Every decade, the competition returns. Four challengers embark on a journey deep into the abyss. Let the Black Sea Odyssey begin! Alright, with that, it is time for us to hop in and get started. So let's do it. And we're just gonna go, I guess, with file two, why not? Alright, the old man. The old man, the eldest human huntsman to still roam the Black Sea, comes from a time where space huntsmen used to kill for food, not sport. At the climax of his career, his fellow huntsmen respected and revered his skill. But one day, a titanfish dug its razor-sharp teeth into his shoulder and ripped his right arm clean from his body. Despite continuing to hunt with a regenerated bionic arm, his skill and favor has since wavered. The old man's unyielding determination and sense of destiny drive him to regain his glory and claim vengeance. Alright, so we got 100 health, 100 chip speed, boost power, and boost recharge speed. It's pretty much down the middle lines, I would assume. Plus, his special ability is Poseidon's Blessing. For 5 seconds after taking damage, the old man receives a shield, which reduces damage taken by pretty much half. There are others that we could choose from if I had ever unlocked them, like Emerald Jones, uh, Ezemon, Unknown, Raid Lawson. I guess really it's only Raid Lawson and the old man. The others are not actually unlocked just yet. So again, this is still in Steam Early Access, folks, so there will be stuff that's not there yet. But the game itself is actually quite fun. As you see here, there are a tremendously huge amount of weapons as well. And there are several win conditions to unlock these various different weapons. But unfortunately, I am stuck with just this. So there you go. 2 attack speed, 22 projectile speed, and 9 base damage. And with that, folks, we will hop in and we will get started for realsies this time. Alright, so these guys will say random stuff, kind of mocking everyone. Hmm, pitiful, looks like Black Sea Odyssey will be easy competition this year. We'll see about that. The might of Odin is on my side. And I have some blasters that would beg to differ as well. So as you can see, they're John and, and, and Jukin and Jivin and doing all that stuff. Alright, we have a few different things that we can do. We can go after an elite level 3 bounty here. Or, we can go after... Oh, both of them are pretty close to the same. In fact, I'm not sure which is going to be easier. I've never fought that one before. We'll give this one a shot. Unfortunately, we don't have any difficulty level 1s, so there's a very real possibility that I'm going to die. I'm going to be using the keyboard and mouse. I'm not sure if it has controller support, guys and gals. I never tried it, and unfortunately my controller is not plugged in right now. But you move around with WASD, you can hit uh, space, or sorry, is it? It's shift. You can hit shift to do that right there, the little boost, and you have your little boost meter here. You can tap it once to do a short boost, and then if you hold it, you'll do a longer duration boost. Look in the bottom right corner, there are several blips. There's also stuff heading right toward me right now, so we need to deal with that. If you right click, you will fire your harpoon. If you left click, you will throw your spears, apparently. Or javelins, or harpoons without the harpooninator thing on the back. So, one you actually hook in, and then you can rip body parts off and whatnot. It's pretty cool. The boss is there. I'm going to try very hard not to upset the boss. I don't know. If just being on top of the boss for a few seconds starts it or not, that seems to be the thing. So I'm going to try to avoid it. However, I am going to come over to where this little area is, and as you'll see here in a second, there will be enemies that want to murder us. Like this fish here and the frog over there. 
I'm gonna charge up my harpoon and see if I can't do some damage to at least the frog. Right now, there it is, we did some there. All right, we're gonna dodge the fish. And then we have this thing. I don't know what to really call this thing, but it does exist. They charge at you. Oop, we bounced off the fish, and then we bounced off the front of that guy. It's not ideal. We have 100 health to start with, and I'm already down a little bit. And you will get yourself pinned into various different places. You want to fight in, well, as much open area as you can. There will be certain creatures you can bounce off of that won't hurt you. There will be several that will, so be aware of that. And I am by no means very good at this game, guys. Like I said, I have succeeded at killing the first boss a couple of different times. But for the most part, I just die horribly, and it's rather embarrassing and quite awful for me. But I gotta say, the game is still ridiculously super fun, so there's that. Alright, we have found this guy again. And what we want to do, see how it says harpoon there? That means his arm is weakened. We can now rip it off of his body, and that actually does a bit more damage than normal attacks and normal harpooning. So essentially, what you, I guess what you want to do, or your goal is... To weaken the different body parts and then just harpoon it and take it out. There it is. Down he goes. The harpoon itself does a pretty sizable chunk of damage even still, even if you are not going for the uh, kill blow. So it's still okay to use that, but I think for the most part you want to generally stick to your spear attacks, your regular auto attack, your left click, if you will. I don't know what's blocking us here. He does seem to be well... Eh. He is well hidden behind his little... There we go. Alright, we've weakened his leg enough that we can actually take this out. We just ripped it off of him. This guy has the weakened arm that we're going to totally miss our harpoon. It does take a second or two to charge up the harpoon, so be aware of that. And you can actually charge it to higher levels as well. I'm actually going to try to charge it up full here, guys. Holding the right mouse button and boom, when it does that, that's the full charge and you can just hook it in. It will do ma maximum damage at that point. When these guys have their back to you, they will always spit their poo out at you, the little green blobs, so be aware of that. You hit certain mushrooms, you'll bounce off. Other mushrooms will go all psychedelic. It's actually, there's a lot of cool stuff. You can burrow through this stuff, you can shoot through this stuff, and of course enemies can also chisel their way through. But if you need a little bit of a gap, you can also use that to, to escape. Alright, we're coming up into another ring here. There's going to be some more enemies. And, oh dear. That is kind of terrifying. Alright, we have another fish. We have another frog-like creature. That apparently we can harpoon right away. I'll wait for him to stick out his tongue again. There it is. And we are going to rip it from his body. And there it is, folks. He is now tongueless. I wouldn't say he's toothless. But I guess he is, kind of... We sort of wrecked him. We just got ourselves some sort of power up there. It's uh, our Q ability. We ripped off a fin. Basically two mines. We're going to actually use them right there. He floated into that and died. Now this area is clear. Oh, apparently I just keep dropping mines as I continue to move around. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we do not have any keys, so we cannot unlock the chest there. But if we did have keys, we could unlock the chest. All right, there's still some more kills to get up over here, so we're going to come up this way and try it. I'm going to power up my uh, harpoon once again to get that first immediate burst damage shot. And we just got poisoned there a little bit. It's not great. And we're going to try to kill off the frog. We've done a little bit of damage there. Oh, there's a butterfly that opens up, and he is super angry with us. And we missed, but... ooh. We still did some damage there. We hurt the frog a little bit. Oh, I didn't notice that guy was charging me, guys. I'm sorry, I had my eyes on the frog. Had my eyes on the froggy prize, that's right. Another one down, this guy's gonna charge any second. And unfortunately, his harder face does block our shots oftentimes, so be aware of that. That is indeed a thing. All right. We can finish him off right there. Oh, he's still alive, actually. And I've missed my harpoon one more time, says. There it is. Down he goes. We're still... We have one guy left. Those little headbutt charger dudes. And there he goes. And there he goes. Survived it. I'm actually impressed. 
And we will harpoon, 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 and miss, because that's what we do. And he's dead. Alright. So there we have it. He is done now. I think the only thing that we have left to do is go find where the boss is and attempt to survive it. You can find repair things. You can find all sorts of upgrades for your spear and for your ship. I'm a little concerned right now, guys and gals, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, I have fought this boss. This guy's tough. I haven't figured out exactly how to make this work either, honestly, guys. I don't know if you have to hit him a certain number of times while he's shooting at you or what the case is. But you can only... There. Once he once this opens up, then you have a little bit of an easier time. And you just unload on him. And you have to basically pick apart the midsection of the guy. Hitting him with multiple spears, and then eventually you'll start seeing some harpoons coming out. And I think it's going to be like two or three more shots here. There it is. And we can finally fire on him and rip that out before he dies. Now the problem is... I don't know exactly if it's like a timed event or what the case is for me to actually be able to get back and have him open up again. That's the one thing I haven't quite figured out just yet. Bounced off a mushroom there, that was pretty risky. Alright, so we're going to start checking out. Oh, he's going to open up again, very nice. And normally he is spamming out blobs of nasty right now. For whatever reason, he's decided to be nice to us and not actually do that. And now he's closed back up, and now the green things of doom are going to come out, and it's going to be quite awful. We're going to try to get close enough, which is very difficult, by the way. Point that out. All right, he's going to open up again. I'm going to just try to hook right into his fleshy, meaty self. Again, I don't know if we're actually landing too many of these shots. He's being kind of a nuisance right now. He's kind of being a little bit of a cranky pants, but it's okay. Alright, looks like we harpoon that one. And there it is. We ripped that out of him. And again, now we're going to get blasted with more of this green goo. Oh, we just bumped into his uh, attack. Whoa. And the psychedelic mushrooms are there, as you guys see. Ah. Alright, I'm going to sit back here and wait for a few seconds. Again, I don't know if this is the play or if we even have a play at this point. Ugh. Ah, darn it. So hard to keep track of them, too. Alright, and... Only a little bit left. There we go. Alright, we've reopened them. I assume, there we go, we can harpoon him again. I don't know, I've, I've never seen that eyeball thing in the back, I'm sure it's been there all along. Oh, that was rough. Alright, we're going to charge through that just to get a little bit of distance between us and him. We're still pretty far down right now as far as uh, what we can do to this guy. His positioning is far superior to ours. I did not land any shots inside of his little belly of doom there a bit saddening. We got one or two there. Wasn't so bad. Alright, looks like he's going to open up again. Alright, we're going to keep hanging in there. We're going to keep it going. Keep it alive. Stay alive. Alright, we can harpoon that one. Oh no, I cancelled my harpoon. No, I'm a fool. Just a little bit more and... There it is. We ripped it all out, and now it's just basically slaughtering him the rest of the way and trying to avoid death and destruction. Alright, I'm going to try for the uh, murder here. I don't know if we've got enough, and we're actually running out of space to maneuver right now. Not ideal. Can we do it before he closes up? Now well, we did that. I feel like still just chucking the spears is more damage even though you get a... Oh, here we go. There it is. And victory is ours, folks. And there's that repair thing as well, which I'm going to save until the next round if I can. And we're going to try to get up all the loot before the end round ends. You only have a few seconds after the boss dies before you can actually... Well, before you get jumped out of the area. So there we go, guys. We actually got through the first boss. I feel pretty good about that.
I wasn't sure if I'd make it or not, but we'll hop in, we'll play around in the second mission and everything else. I'll probably break it off either mid-mission or maybe in the boss fight. Chances are I'll just die. Did you see the size of that creature I hunted? Ha, I bet mine wasn't nearly or I bet it wasn't nearly as big as mine, you fools! And you're useless, Bickering. Besides, there is no way your creature's bounties were worth as much as mine. Who cares? Did you see that funky fresh hairdo on my bounty? Right now we're pretty close to second place, but he's actually beating us out right now. Only slightly. Alright. I'm going to go to the shop here, and at the shop we have the repair probe. Unfortunately, our credits are not massively huge. We did manage to get ourselves a little bit of a speed boost for our ship, and a little bit more of our actual boost, which I believe are either our, our afterburner boost, or it could be our right-click um, charge for our harpoon, but I believe it's our boost itself. We have 107 credits, and the only thing we can afford right now uh, unless we sell this for 13, which still wouldn't allow us to do much, as another boost. So I guess we could either save or we could we can get that. I mean, that's a thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sell this. We have 120. Um, critical shot. See, stuff like that would have been pretty nice. All right. Well, I think I'm just gonna get the boost again. That was one of the best items we had in stock. It's one of the only items I could actually afford. Sorry guys, I hit the escape button. That was not the play. Alright, so we can either go here and attempt our very best to deal with some of these other bounties. And these are the ones that were all eliminated by the crew in the last deal. And it looks like that seems to be the only real bounty we can go after. Oh man. Scary stuff. Difficulty 6. This one's got a difficulty of 8. It's an elite. We're gonna go here and probably deal with the non-elite one. You can also click down there to see the bounties if you don't want to click on this. And we're gonna probably go after this one right here. I have my doubts as to whether or not we will be successful. First thing I'm gonna do when I hop in, stain harpoon to a fish slows it. I didn't even know that. See? Look at that. I just learned something new. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Q and start up the repair. I don't know if the repair goes until you get hit again, or if it goes indefinitely, or what. As you look around the map, you'll see these different, like, round things, or kind of more hexagonal than round. Those are where the enemies are sort of detected in that general area, so if you head toward them, you should meet up with enemies spawning once you enter their little ring of doom. Oh gosh! I am not a fan of these very large creatures. Oh, it blocked me. Or, yeah, it did. Alright, so the only way to attack that guy is the front or his tail. And he has that that comes out of his mouth. So, you guys can decide what exactly you want to attack him. Or how you exactly want to attack him. Oh, gosh, I didn't even notice that was a guy until after, like, right as it hit me. I was just starting to move then. Realizing that this is going very poorly for me. Alright, so we have several enemies now that want to murder us. It's not looking great for us, but that's okay. We're going to do the best that we can. Holy cow. We have more froglets coming after us now as well. Oh, and we bounced off a mushroom. Yep, the scenery, guys, is almost as much of a nuisance as the actual enemies that we are faced up against. You think I'm kidding? I, I'm really not. Like, the scenery really can cause you complete and total destruction and loss. Like, you can lose just because you bounced off the wrong mushroom or you hit a wall or you got stuck on, like, a little wall crystal or something. You just can't get away. Uh, like I said, the game's actually quite challenging. It's a lot of fun. Like, I've had fun every single time I've played it, but I will not lie. I am very bad at this game. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. Oh, man, that was pretty brutal. Eh. Oh no! Oh no! I, I stand on the boss too long. Oh god. Uh, um, this doesn't seem like a good thing to me. Well guys, you're about to see me die a horrible awful death I dare say. Oh gosh! Oh! Okay. Yeah! Rip that off! Woohoo! 
I am not a fan of how this is going right now. I'm not gonna lie. This is terrifying to me. Oh dear. Ugh. Those bombs did not do anything. There we go. Ah, we ripped off another spot. Alright, we're being pulled in. Ow. Pulled in by this guy again. Gosh, this is a tough boss fight. Oh no. See, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now other than just not dying. Ow. Poison hurts. Harpoon it. Oh gosh. Imagine if I keep weakening this, I might be able to break off part of the arm or something. Could be totally wrong here, but that's that's what I'm trying for. Right? Oh, it looks like that's the thing. Oh, oh, that's not fun. Oh, there's so much poison going my way. It is unpleasant, to be sure. Oh, why do I feel like we're getting maneuvered around again? Hey, yeah, you can't pull me away now, can you? Well, I will stay harpooned to you if that's going to keep me alive. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I've learned a little bit of a lesson here so far. Alright, looks like... Oh, maybe I already tore it off. Cool. Uh, it doesn't seem happy with me right now. I'm not going to lie. It seems pretty angry that I exist. Eh. Ow. I shall take you. Alright. So the plan now is to attach myself to you here and then just keep chucking chucking it out. I don't know if we defeated the other arm or not, but this seems like a fairly decent play. I, I gotta say, the thought that I may actually beat this boss is pretty exciting to me, but I also am looking at the fact that we only have 19 health. And that's a little less exciting. But we'll keep throwing our multiple spears into the arm, and I don't know what's... Oh gosh, I don't know what's happening, but something is clearly happening, and I am not a fan. Oh, we lost track of it. Eh. Eh. Yeah, we're down to nine health. Ow. Come back, you giant arm of doom. Ooh, we won't hit the arm of doom. Yeah! Oh, you don't exist anymore? It's just not a thing you do, huh? Oh, you do not exist anymore. Alright, what's down here then? Is there another arm, or is it just the big circular blob? And oh, there's definitely another arm. Oh dear. Okay. All we gotta do is take out one of these things. No, we got killed. Anyway, guys and gals, that's not too bad. I had a lot of fun with that. We'll get to see what my final score is here, guys and gals, and then we'll break off this first look video. Don't give up. We must find the white whale. All right. They call him Ishmael. No. All right. Uh, so fish bounty of 90. Eh, that's not too bad. We're going to go to the main menu now. We're actually going to see how we stack up on the leaderboards. I'm going to go to player stats, and let's see where I'm at around me. Alright, I'm number 160 on the leaderboard, so that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're, we're beat out a little bit by Happy Penguin and many others, but I don't know. That's not bad, and none of my friends apparently have uh, the game, so they are not on the list. I have yet to win. I've played five times. I, like I said, I thought I, I lost four or five. I guess I lost three and I won twice. Well, I, I beat one of the bosses. I didn't actually win the entire thing. So, I, yeah, it's a fun game, guys. It's actually surprisingly fun. When you start playing, you're like, first you don't know what you're doing, and then you're like, oh, that was that was brutal. I don't know what is going on. And then you start playing around a little bit, you figure out how it works out a little bit more, and you're like, holy cow, this game is amazingly fun. So I definitely recommend you guys check out Black Sea Odyssey. It is a lot of fun. If you want more information about the game, the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video. And that's pretty much going to do it for this first look video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will catch you guys next time with another first look. 
Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>